Hello everyone, this is Tyler with Diesel Laptops. I'm here today to talk to you about an exciting new program called DTC Solutions Off-Highway Edition. If you've done business with our company at all, you probably have the DTC Solutions Normal Edition, a little bit looking different color scheme, and it covers on-highway trucks. This edition covers off-highway vehicles and off-highway engines. So anything used not on a road, farm tractors, uh, construction equipment, uh, generators, air compressors, anything that's running a diesel engine of any type is what you're going to use this program for. So I want to show you some of the coverage and some of the features. So first of all, let's just go through them real quick. We have CAT engine. And as you go down through here, what you'll notice with CAT is they'll take the same engine and put it in a variety of different equipment. So here we see we got some farm equipment and here we got some uh, front end wheel loaders. Uh, and you'll notice that if on a 3126B and a 950G is going to have slightly different codes and repair information than when it's in a combine. So as I go through the list here, you'll see kind of what I'm talking about where there's multiple ones. So there's a 3406E. We'll go down to some of the more modern, newer engines, like a C13. And as I click on it, you'll see it'll over here on the left, it'll give you the, the code that's going on for the Caterpillar code. And I click on it, and down in here, you can read through. We'll find a good code here. So here's a good one, 110-4. And you can read through the information, and it'll basically tell you where you need to go to fix that code. It gets you to the, gets you to the right area of the vehicle, so to speak. So CAD engines are in there. They're very well covered as you just saw on the list. I'll go through the rest of them down here and even some of the smaller ones you see we're starting to put them in as well. No, by no means a complete list, but I can tell you we have a small army of people devoted solely to this project. And when you get version one, you get updates for life. So we'll be in version one for at least a year, probably more like a year and a half on this current version, and you'll be getting all the updates included with it. So there's Caterpillar engines. If I go over here to Cummins, and you can again see, again, not a complete library, but we have a lot in there and a lot of the Cummins Cummins common engines in there as well. As I click on them, you notice the unique thing with Cummins is they actually have a PID, an SPN, and an FMI, and all those translate to a fault code. So a lot of generic tools, they'll give you this mid, PID, SPN, FMI, but they won't give you the fault code. But it doesn't matter because you can search for them. So if you only had uh, a generic tool and you had code 102, SPN 102, FMI 4, you can type in 102, FMI4, and you can just look and be like, oh, that's code 123. There's my repair information for code 123. So tons of good information in there for pretty much every single code that you can think of um, on every single Cummins engine. So let's go ahead and hit reset view to show you that feature. That just resets all your drop downs. So we go over to this next engine here. And I believe this is mainly a tier four engine for this manufacturer. So as we go through here, you'll see a lot of higher numbered SPN codes, but you can see there's a ton. Just look at the scroll bar. I've already gone down a bunch and it's barely even budged up here. There, there's just a ton of them in there. All right, so let's go over to John Deere. So John Deere, we have it broken down by equipment and we also have it broken down by engines. So you can go to your, like your tractor section and go in here and then go find uh, what particular control unit on what series tractor you have. That's how that one's organized and broken down. If I go up here to John Deere engines, and then I can actually go through a list of all my John Deere engines. So just a little helpful tip for a lot of people that work on John Deere engines that don't know much about them or get involved with them. Uh, some of the more modern name, nomenclature that they have going on for the engines, they may call it a 6068. What that means is a six cylinder, 6.8 liter engine. So that's how they come up with the, the naming scheme for it. So again, six cylinder, 9.0 liter. That's how it's being done with their model naming. So tons of information in there. Again, even go to Feller Buncher and it talks about some, or you go to Skitters and we got some of the models listed in there. So uh, very, very good information. Nowhere else will you find repair information for off-highway equipment, especially John Deere. Komatsu is another one that we have really good coverage in here on, and it's broken down the same way. Komatsu Equipment. And then you always have your one for engines as well. So if I go to engines, it's going to talk about them in here. The years you're seeing are the years of the repair information, uh, model year, kind of look at that. So if you have a 2010, yeah, your 2009 information is probably going to be 
you know, pretty accurate. Uh, I will say too, a lot of Komatsu engines are re are actually Cummins engines in disguise. So a lot of people think they have a Komatsu engine and it's really a Cummins engine. So it takes a little bit of investigating sometimes to, to figure out what's going on. Uh, but mainly you can usually tell by the codes because these codes for the Komatsu stuff, they just, they just look a lot, a lot different. But again, all of our information being in there. So Komatsu engines, um, and again, broken down into tons of categories. Uh, the Komatsu dump trucks, I love those articulated dump trucks, very cool things. And you can see we have tons of the models along with the years listed into the software to give you an idea of, of what's going on. All right, so the reason we have body controller codes and transmission codes and everything else going on besides engine is the fact that our Texa off-highway kit, the high-end tool, definitely has repair information for all those things and can connect to them. So the only other one we have in here for manufacturers today is New Holland. And if I go in here, you'll see this is on an EAE 385 New Holland with one of these Isuzu engines. So uh, I think what you'll find out is once you, you know, whether you're watching this video now here in April of 2018 or months down the road, highly recommend going to our website, finding this program and looking through the notes. We'll be constantly updating our product listing on our page to tell you about the updates and when they come out and what they included and, and all those things. And I think everyone would be pretty surprised. So just, just for us to do this took, took quite a while, but now that we got it kind of figured out and know what we're doing, I think everyone's gonna be really impressed with uh, products as they come out with the off high repair information. So anyhow, again, my name is Tyler with Diesel Laptops. I appreciate your time. Any questions at all, any, anything you need to talk about, just hit us up at diesellaptops.com. You can chat with us live. You can call us, go to our Facebook page, our LinkedIn page, or pretty much everywhere. So I appreciate your time and thank you for watching.